Hey everyone, welcome back to Prime 5, the 5 biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. And the biggest story of all already dropped, Nintendo Direct is happening tomorrow. We have news on that. It's confirmed, everyone. Some of the rumors, at least, were true, because Nate Drake called it. That being said, we have also news on Splatoon 3 launch sale. Stuff on Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. A brand new Switch exclusive announced over the weekend as well. Holy crap, let's get into today's news. So our first story deals with Splatoon 3 launch sales because we have launch sales data from Nintendo directly from Japan. We also have some data from the UK as well, and it is setting records. So Splatoon 3 launched in Japan with 3.45 million in sales over three days. This is a launch record for Switch games in Japan. It beats out Animal Crossing New Horizons, which held the record before it. So yeah, it is the fastest selling game in Japan for Nintendo Switch. Absolutely insane. It also is the number one selling game in the UK for last week. So we don't have exact sales data in the UK, but it was the best selling game, at least physically. Now this does put in the question, hey, what about the rest of the world? What did Splatoon 3 really launch at? Well, we don't really know. It's safe to say at this point, it's north of 5 million units. Is it 6? Is it 7? Is it 8? Is it going to be a 10? Nobody knows. We'll just have to wait and see. But hey, incredible news for Splatoon 3. What an amazing launch. Next up, we have some new details for Sparks of Hope because there was a Ubisoft forward over the weekend and they announced some interesting stuff, including a new six minute look at the game. Now, the biggest announcement to come out really had nothing to do with the new gameplay they were showing off, which did have a boss fight in it named Wiggler, but because they actually announced Rayman is coming as DLC. Now, if you don't know, the Rabbids actually originated from the Rayman franchise. So to see Rayman come in just fits. Last time we got Donkey Kong and a bunch of stuff from Nintendo. This time they're going with Rayman. I don't know how it's going to play out other than that Rayman is going to be a future playable character. And probably have a whole world built around him as well. So I can't wait uh, as Sparks of Hope is just shaping up to be an absolutely incredible get next month. Now our third story and the lead headline story of the day is a Nintendo Direct. It is official folks. We are getting a general Nintendo Direct tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. This is really awesome. It's going to be about 40 minutes long. They don't give us a tease on anything that's going to be in it. They say obviously that this direct is going to be focused on games this winter, which by the way, winter does run into 2023 for those unaware. So that is a very clever wording by them. You all know they always talk about the next three to four month period and that's what the directs focus on. And then they end up teasing a bunch of stuff for beyond that. That's just what directs do. This is incredibly exciting. Remember that Nate Drake was the one that initially told us it would be announced today. I mentioned at the time that I thought that meant a Tuesday direct and well, hey, a Tuesday direct is indeed what we are getting. So woo! this is really exciting. It's nice to have the culminations of rumors showing truth already and not only the direct being this week remember jeff grubb told us two weeks ago that this was the week the direct was going to be uh, but also having other insiders with the exact announcement date as well right this just i don't know uh, breath of the wild 2 news is that happening tomorrow you guys let me know your guests on the nintendo direct lineup down in the comments below so i mentioned earlier that there was a brand new exclusive game announced for nintendo switch and it actually came from disney at their d23 event it was a complete surprise and we're talking about disney illusion island now it is a Switch exclusive game, as I mentioned. Why it's exclusive is beyond me. It looks like a platformer that should be on everything, but they, they wanted to build it specifically for Switch. It is going to be coming out at some point in 2023, and it's really all the details we have beyond the launch trailer. It's still, it looks really good. It looks interesting. It looks vibrant. Cool characters. Obviously, using some of Disney's classic characters, so I, I don't know. I think it looks really cool, and we'll see more of this game next year. And our last story is about Sonic Frontiers, because supposedly it has the most content of any Sonic game ever made. How do we know this? Well, Sonic Team's Takahashi Izuka said the following in an interview. I can't reveal how many levels will be in the game. However, I can guarantee that Frontiers features the most amount of content ever included in a Sonic game. We wanted to make sure that Starfall Islands were stimulating enough for the players, with a lot of minigames and activities that would grab their attention while exploring. When we had to create the maps, we immediately thought about where we would place puzzles, ramps, all of those elements that could keep the user's curiosity alive. Now, this is obviously a really nice statement just because people were worried the world was going to be lacking content and lacking things to do. They're claiming it's the exact opposite. Obviously, when we go hands-on with it in two months, 
we'll be able to tell for ourselves. Anyways, folks, I'm Nintendo RoboJazz from Nintendo Prime. This has been your Prime 5 today. Are you guys primed up for tomorrow's Nintendo Direct? We will be live streaming the Direct right here on the channel. Really, really exciting stuff. Can't wait for all of you to join me for that. All right, folks, we'll catch you in the next video.